Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and Shannon Fabrics. Shannon Fabrics has provided compensation for this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute monsters. They're really fun to make and you can actually design your own. I've made it so you can kind of pick how your monster is going to look. For this project you will need the following. For this project you will need Shannon Fabrics Cuddle Cake Kit in Very Vibrant Dimple scrap of white fleece, scrap of black fleece, empty cereal bag, optional but fun, pen, scissors, thread, circle cutter, glue stick, batting, and needle. All right, yes, in that list I did mention a cereal bag, basically. And it's to make the, the crackly, the crackly noise in their horns. And that's completely optional, but it's kind of a fun thing to add to it. And you know, just buy your kids their favorite cereal and it'll be gone in no time. And then you can have basically free material to use in their horns. It's kind of fun. It's just something different and it's nice for babies. All right, now it's time to cut out all the pieces and to design your monster. And you're gonna have to decide what you want your little guy to look like. Assemble and cut out the pattern. Assembly instructions can be found on fleecefun.com's YouTube channel. It's really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to pick the body. You're going to pick the horns if you want horns on your monster. On one of the body's horns, they don't necessarily work, but you can if you want to. Um, you're going to pick the eyes and you're going to pick the mouth and the teeth. So what you're going to do is you're going to just basically lay it out, see what you like and how you want it to look. And then you're going to pick your fabric. And I just used Shannon Fabrics um, Very Vibrant um, in Dimple. They have these great um, cuddle cake packs and basically it's designed to work with these packs so you can actually make several out of one pack Yeah, awesome, huh? So with one of those packs you can make Multiple monsters that are very colorful and fun Next cut out the pieces cut two of the body Check the nap of the cuddle to make sure it's going in the same direction Cut out the horns cut out the amount specified on the pattern Cut out the same from the cereal bag if desired. You can do this by tracing the pattern with the pen and then cutting it out. Cut out the eyes, pupils, mouth, and teeth. Note, you can use a circle cutter to make this part easier. Also, feel free to freehand parts if you like. The pattern is only a suggestion. Time to do some applique. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. You can do it. Assemble the eyes first. Temporarily adhere the inner eye to the outer eye using a glue stick. Sew on using a medium zigzag stitch along the edge. Repeat for the rest of the eye. Now, using a glue stick, glue the eye to the body exterior. Sew on using a zigzag stitch along the edge. Using the same method, apply the mouth to the body and then the teeth. All right, it's looking good. Let's move on. For the horns, you will have right sides together with the plastic on the outside. Sew the horns together using a half inch seam allowance. Clip the ends to make sharp points and then turn right side out. Stuff with a little batting if desired. Now, you can, if you want to, sew sandwich the horns in between and then sew them on, but I prefer, especially if they're stuffed, like this is a stuffed version and this is the non-stuffed version. If they're stuffed, I think it's so much better if you take time and you um, basically sew them or base them on before you sew the whole thing together because they'll stay in place and they'll just be a little bit easier in the long run. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, baste the horns to the body exterior. And also you're going to use a half inch seam allowance on the horns. And you're going to actually use a quarter inch seam allowance on the body. So there's a little difference there. Just pay attention to those seam allowances so everything looks correct. Using a quarter inch seam allowance with right sides together, sew the front of the body to the back leaving a three inch gap for turning on the side. All right, let's turn that monster right side out. Clip the curves and the corners. Now turn the body right side out. Stuff it firmly with batting. 
All right, now one thing I'm going to tell you is that a lot of people tend to understuff it. Um, you want it to have a nice firmness to it, squishing it, um, because the stuffing will um, eventually compress a little bit more in the space. And so a little firmness is nice and it helps it so it can, you know, stand up on its own. It also helps the horns stand up as well. So when you're stuffing your monster, make sure it's a little more on the firm side so it's not understuffed. And sew the gap shut. And you're finished. You have these great fun little monsters you can make and they can play together and you can put several on the bed together. You can give a bunch to your kids. They're really fun and fast to make. And they just, oh, they feel so good. I just love how they feel. And I also love that, you know, they're, they're on the cute side. They're not super scary monsters. If you like this tutorial, I have several others on my blog, pleasefun.com, that I know you will enjoy. All my patterns and tutorials are free, and they come with a PDF pattern and a video, just like this one. I should say most of them, not all of them do. I do have to sleep at some point. But please subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw here, and be sure to check out fleecefun.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and I also have some fun links at the end to other tutorials that you might like as well. I just want to play with them. Actually, my kids have been wanting to play with them all week, and I'm going to play with them all. Okay, I don't know. I'm weird. I'm sorry, but they're cute. <laughs> Have a great day. Remember, Velvet is pretentious. Please, it's fun. Oh,